Today we're going to talk about teaching children about numbers or addition or sum. We're going to talk about how you can use the Bible to introduce the idea about numbers. Did you know that God has a lot to say about numbers and counting, sum, many other related words such as numerous, um, without number, countless, or outnumber, many expressions. A good concordance, or remember I told you about blueletterbible.org, is a great place to um, begin looking at these, uh, these ideas. So there are some things, num numbering or some in, in a way of measuring. Um, Measuring can be counting. Um, so, uh, Genesis 15 5 is a story, I believe, about God and Abraham. Yes, God appears to Abraham, the word of God. And uh, God took Abraham outside and he said, Look toward the heavens and count the stars if you are able to count them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed in the Lord, and he reckoned it to him as righteousness. Well, I don't know about you, I hope you live in an area where you can go outside and view the stars at night, and you will see very quickly that it would be impossible for us to number the stars, to count them. Count them if you are able. So there's some things that we cannot count. But God commands us to count something in the Bible. Maybe you remember this verse. Look at Psalm 19, verse 12. Psalm 90, verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may present to thee a heart of wisdom. wisdom. We have to learn how to number our days. That's a very good verse for a young child to learn. Um, because it makes them think about each day doing things that really count. Um, when you use their time wisely. Um, does God count anything? Yes. Have your child read Matthew 10, 30. Um, you do want to involve your, ch your children in learning to read from the Bible. And the more that they read, it takes a little longer, but have them look these verses up. And Jesus was talking here, he said, But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Matthew 10, 30. Wow. Who uh, would do that? God did. And you can use that verse to talk to your children about how uh, personally God cares for each child. See, so personally involved with you actually um, number here on the head. But that's pretty neat. Um, a verse that uses the word or the term sum, you don't hear that expression very much. You, children used to learn to do their sum, but they're not going to learn to do uh, some sum it up. Um, sum it up sometimes you know, to express something in a shortened form or to give the full meaning and, and, and summarize, sum it up, summarize it. But summing things up, adding things up. First Peter three eight. Here uh, Peter writes to sum up, or we use the expression sometimes finally or in conclusion, to sum up, let all be harmonious, sympathetic, brotherly, kind-hearted, and humble in spirit. Verse 9, not returning evil for evil, or insult for insult, but giving a blessing instead. For you were called for the great purpose that you might inherit the blessing. And uh, actually, Chapter 3, the great chapter to study with your child. 
to be tough, too, about uh, how we are to respond to persecution. Yeah. Well, we said that there were count, we also have the word countless, uh, L-E-S-S -S means without, without count, countless, numberless, without number. Let's look over at 1 Corinthians 4.15, and we should see the word countless. Paul wrote here, For if you were to have countless tutors in Christ, Yet you would not have many fathers, for in Christ Jesus I became your father through the gospel. Paul didn't say they had countless tutors. He said, if you were to have. So, did not mean that. Sometimes uh, God says it's wrong to number things. We shouldn't number things. We were to number our days, but Maybe you read the story at the uh, end of Second Samuel to the child also found in First Chronicles 21, where uh, David does the numbering and uh, not please God, and he can explain a good spiritual truth to his child about. Why David got trouble with these kind of numbers? Um, there are many other scriptures. This is just a place to start. And I think the value of using the scripture to explain about sums or numbering and that sort of thing is so that your child can see that learning to count has real significance for many areas of their life. It's not just something you do because it's fun and it's a child that's fun to count and can't let you go on to the count in order to accumulate possession. And many adults do that. But let's look at a couple of uh, hints that maybe you thought about as I've been talking about counting or numbering. One that children often learn is called count your blessings. Name them one by one and see what God has done. By the way, that's a great way to start a day, um, to thank God for all the blessings that you can think of in your own private devotional time, and teach your child to do that too. He hideth my soul, as he came across me, him, and it talks about um, the wonderful Savior, Jesus my Lord. And verse 3 says, with numerous blessings, each one will be crowned, and filled with his fullness divine, I sing in my rapture, Oh, glory to God, for such a Redeemer is mine. Um, those are good ways to teach your children not only about math, but about God. So use the Bible to teach math, and use the Bible to learn about what God says about numbers and counting. I encourage you to go through the Psalms. I only read one reference out of the Psalms, the Psalms is full of expressions that have to do with counting, numbering, sums, that sort of thing. And interestingly enough, the, the book of Job has quite a bit to say about that. So, um, I hope you don't have to count sheep at night in order to go to sleep. Um, or if, you, if you do, I encourage you to read a psalm or two uh, and, and receive uh, peace from God and put other things out of your mind. And also read Paul's epistle. Um, so Paul uh, talks a lot about things that he counts. He counted all things as laws for the surpassing uh, greatness of, of knowing Christ, Jesus. And um, go into the other meanings of the word count. I'm going to give you one. But um, enjoy the study of God's Word and the practical application in the area of math.